a bizarre turn today for a Trump lawyer named John Eastman. Um, he's an obscure figure who got famous through this whole scandal when he wrote the notorious Eastman memo, which laid out the theory of the case basically behind the January 6th attack on the Capitol. What Trump demanded of the crowd at that rally January 6th, right before his supporters rushed to the Capitol, what, what Trump demanded of them, what people like Eastman himself and other speakers that day told the mob they would accomplish if they, in Trump's words, fought like hell that day, was a specific thing. It was this scenario that was laid out in Eastman's memo in which he said Vice President Mike Pence shouldn't accept the electors from swing states that Biden won. The memo laid out how Vice President Mike Pence had the right not to accept those electors. And that's how the electoral count could be stopped. That's how the naming of Biden as the winner of the election could be technically stopped. John Eastman is the one who laid out the memo for how the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol, which did stop the counting process for some time, he laid out the memo for how the attack on the Capitol that day could work. Particularly if Pence went along with it, this is how it could work. Well, today, bizarrely, that lawyer, John Eastman, the guy who wrote out this quasi-legal theory of the case, which they used to justify Republican members of Congress objecting to the electoral count, which they used to try to get Mike Pence to go along with this scheme. Today, in an interview with the National Review, that lawyer, John Eastman, sort of walked it all back. He didn't say he changed his mind. He said that was never what he meant in the first place. He tried to pretend that he didn't really write what he wrote in his memo. He's denying that he meant it. <laughs> He now says it was just a draft, and of course, if anybody had gone along with any of this, that would be crazy, <laughs> which is insane, but also, in its own way, is progress, right? It would be a worse scenario if the people who tried to lay out this quasi-legal theory for how Trump could have stayed in power, if they were still defending that and saying that was the way that elections and post-election behavior should proceed in, in, in future years. Instead... It is progress. It is a form of accountability to see the lawyer who propounded that in writing saying, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. It must be a different John Eastman.